On February 21st, 2020, at approximately 3 p.m., Reddit received a report titled Race Condition Leads to Inflation of Coins When Bought Via Google Play Store. On the other side, Reddit receives a transaction. Someone purchased 100 coins, then another one, then another one. All transactions seem to be completed within milliseconds. Something doesn't add up. They check balances. Someone really did purchase a large amount of coins, but the revenue for the most transactions is zero. Zeros upon zeros. However, only one transaction seems to be valid. Someone found a way to purchase something for nothing. If you like this type of content, please make sure to consider leaving a comment and a like on this video. Also, if you're interested in becoming an ethical hacker and a pen tester, my course offers just that. So check it out, link is in the description. It was an ordinary Friday for the Reddit employees in San Francisco, just routine checks and monitoring on the admin dashboard. However, on the other side of the globe, hacker by the name Yash just started doing the penetration testing on Reddit's assets. Like many other large corporations, Reddit is registered on HackerOne, a platform which helps them prevent and fix vulnerabilities before the bad actors can exploit them. Ethical hackers like Yash assist by finding these bugs and responsibly disclosing them to the authorized personnel. Let's take a step back for a moment. In order to understand this, I will carefully craft a scenario for you to better depict on how this played out. Please pay close attention. Imagine there is a website to purchase an ebook. Website has three views on the back end. First is to render the buy page, which allows you to place the order. Once you visit the first view, server generates a specific session token, ABCD, and it stores it on your computer. It also gets stored in the database, and it's valid status is set to false. Then the server renders a page for you with a yellow buy button, just waiting for a click. After the click is made, it will send a request to Stripe. The request will contain an item ID and the special session token, A, B, C, and D. While the Stripe is processing the payment, let's meet the second view, Webhook. This will only be accessible by Stripe themselves to verify the payment. Meanwhile, the user have seemed to completed the payment. So now, Stripe is sending the request to the webhook containing the special session token as well as the item ID which the user has purchased. In the database, server makes a change so that now this session valid status is true and it can be used to access the contents. It's about time the third view comes into play. This will only be used to download the contents and allow the user to access what they paid for. So after the successful transaction, user is redirected to this view which checks the special session token from the the user cookies and verifies whether it's valid. After successfully checking that, user is granted permission to download the contents and the session is revoked. It's about time we talk how this would affect Reddit. Firstly, hacker would complete one transaction for 100 coins, but right as the browser is about to refresh and redirect him to the redeem page, he would forcibly close the connection and capture the request browser was about to make. There, the attacker has the redeem page URL along with the session and now it's about time to orchestrate the whole attack. Attacker writes a piece of code which will try and access the redeem page millions of times per second with the same session used to purchase the batch of coins. Server would start processing the request one at a time. However, there wouldn't be enough time to invalidate the session before the next request would come in. Therefore, attacker could take more than 100 coins because of this broken mechanism. And this right here is a vulnerability. So, on February 21st, 2020, Yash wrote a report to Reddit explaining this exact behavior. He covered every single step in detail, and you can find this report in the description if you want to read more. Just five hours after he wrote the report, he also got his answer. Thanks, Yash RS, for the report. We're taking a look into this. 
we do have a DB lock in place to prevent duplicative transactions from working. But seems something is amiss. Our ledger shows the one submission that got validated, but the math and activity doesn't match your total balance. So back in team is taking a peek. Long story short, in the end, he was rewarded with $500 as they believe this was a medium severity bug. Let me know your opinion in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.